welcome to this video so in this video we are going to be explaining the series connection of resistor capacitor and inductor in an alternating circuit using this question so the question says a resistor of resistance 30 ohms an inductor of inductance 14 henry and a capacitor of capacitance 10 microfarad are connected in series across a 220 volt 100 hertz supply sketch the circuit diagram and calculate the circuit impedance the supply current voltage across the resistor inductor and capacitor and power in volt ampere so let's first of all start by drawing the circuit diagram all right so this is what the diagram looks like okay this is the source and in the question we were, we were told that the source is actually 220 volts so we have a voltage supply to be 220 volts frequency was given also as 100 hertz we're giving frequency as 100 hertz all right so the first is the resistor um, from the question we are given um, a resistor of resistance 30 ohms so the resistor is simply 30 ohms okay now this is the voltage across the resistor simply call this vr okay and next we'll have the inductance the inductor has an inductance of 14 henry so this is actually 14 henry voltage is voltage across the inductor um okay simply l voltage across the inductor vl and finally we are giving the we are giving the capacitor capacitor of 10 microfarad so this is 10 microfarad which is equivalent to 10 by 10 to the power of negative 6 in farad and the voltage across the capacitor is simply vc which is voltage across the um, capacitor all right so this is what the diagram of that circuit looks like now the first question says we should calculate the impedance of the circuit impedance okay and we we'll use z to re represent the impedance now for a series connection between the capacitor the resistor and inductance the impedance z is given mathematically as the square root is given mathematically as the square root of the resistor r all squared plus into the capacitive reactance or you can use the inductive reactance xl minus the capacitive reactance sc all squared okay so mind you it can be sc minus sl all squared it doesn't really matter so far you're squaring it um, anyone that is lesser if you have a negative value inside the square will definitely cancel out the negative value so all we need to do now is we know the value of the resistor we need to now find what is the inductive reactance and what is the capacitive reactance now xl simply means the inductive reactance and the inductive reactance simply means the resistor across or the resistance across the inductor whereas xc simply means the capacitive reactance which means the resistor across the capacitor okay now let's find this value since we are giving resistor let's now find the value of the inductive reactance and the capacitive reactance now the inductive reactance inductive reactance which is xl simply is given as 2 pi f times the inductor l 
So this is going to be XL is equal to 2. Pi is 3.142 times the frequency was given in the question as 100 times the inductor was given as 14 Henry. So our inductive reactance is simply giving us to have 8797.6 ohms. Okay, so this gives us the value of our inductive reactance. Okay, next we find the capacitive reactance. Okay, the capacitive reactance is simply the resistance across the capacitor which is xc and this is given as 1 all over 2 pi fc so xc is equal to so we have 1 all over 2 pi remains 3.142 frequency was given as 100 multiplied by the capacitor was given as 10 microfarad which is 10 by 10 to the power of minus 6 okay so this will be equal to 1 all over let's calculate everything at the denominator so we have 6 points 284 by 10 to the power of negative 3 all right so this simply implies that our capacitive reactance is equal to now we divide by 1 so we have 159.13 in ohm. So this is now our capacitive reactance. Okay. So having found the capacitive reactance, we then plug into the formula of the impedance. Okay. So once again, the impedance is given simply impedance, which is Z, is given simply as the square root of r squared plus xl minus sc all squared so our impedance z is equal to square root of the resistor was given in the question as 30 ohms so we have 30 all squared plus now we have the inductive reactance which we obtain as 8797.6 so we have 8797.6 minus our capacitive reactance which we obtain as 159.13 159.13 okay okay so z is equal to the square root of let's find the equivalent values so 30 squared gives us 900 plus now I'm going to find this difference and take the square of the difference. Okay. Um, not forgetting there's a square here. So I'm going to now find this difference and of course take the square. Okay. So we have 8797.6 minus 159.13. So we take the square of this result. So the square of that result simply gives us 74623, 74623163, 163.94. Okay, so let's add with 900 plus 900. Now I'm simply going to take the square root at once. So upon taking the square root, I'm going to obtain my impedance z to be equal to so my impedance is simply 8638.52. I have 8638.52 ohm. So this is the overall resistance in the circuit, which is also known as the impedance. All right. So that is the first question. Calculate the circuit impedance, which we've done. Now the second question says, calculate the supply current. So to calculate the supply current, if this is a circuit impedance, the circuit impedance simply means the overall resistance in the circuit. And from Ohm's law, you know that voltage across the circuit is simply going to be, okay, voltage is simply equal to 
IR from Ohm's law. But in this case, now R becomes the impedance, which is the overall resistance across the circuit. So this current here becomes the supply current across the circuit, whereas voltage becomes the supply voltage. Okay, so this simply implies that our circuit current is going to be the circuit voltage all over the impedance. And this is equal to once more from the question. Let's pull out the diagram. Okay. So you can see that in the question it was given that the supply voltage is 220 volts, as can be seen in the diagram. So we simply find that division. So this means our supply current is equal to 220 volts divided by 8638.32.52. Okay, so this implies that our supply current is equal to let's find the division and see so the supply current is simply 0 0.03 amps so this is our supply current okay let's check the next question now the next question says calculate the voltage across the resistor the inductor and the capacitor okay now the voltage across the resistor v is simply given as I R where I is the supply current and R is the resistor and we just found now that our supply current is 0 0.03 multiplied by in the equation our resistor was given as 30 ohm so voltage across the resistor VR is going to be equal to 0 0.03 multiplied by 30 that gives us simply 0 0.9 volt so this is the voltage across the resistor similarly voltage across the inductor vl is simply going to be i multiplies xl where xl is inductive reactance which simply means the resistor across the inductor and this is equal to our current remains 0 0.03 multiplied by we obtain xl which is the inductive reactance as so we obtain xl as 87 97.6 ohms okay so let's plug it into the equation all right so we we'll have multiplies 8797.6 so this gives us the voltage across the voltage across the inductor 0 0.03 multiplies 8797.6 so the voltage across the inductor is 263.9 volts 263.9 volts so this is the voltage across the inductor also the voltage across the capacitor is also going to be i multiplied by xc where sc is a capacitive reactance which simply means the resistor across the capacitor and this is equal to i remains 0.03 multiply by sc and we obtain our sc as 159.13 so we have 159.13 and this is going to be equal to 0 0.03 multiplies 159.13 so we have our value to be equal to 4.77 volts we have 4.77 Volt. So these are the voltages across the resistor, across the inductor, and across the capacitor. So the final question says calculate the power in volt ampere. So we are to find power in volt ampere. Okay, power in volt ampere so power is simply going to be equal to of course from the definition already is clear simply means volt multiplied by um, ampere volt is actually the voltage across the entire um voltage across the entire circuit and ampere is simply the current across the entire circuit so this is going to be equal to the voltage across the circuit was given as 220 volt multiply current across the circuit remains 
current multiply current across the circuit remains 0 0.03 so let's find this multiple and see so 220 multiply 0 0.03 we have the value to be equal to 6.6 6.6 volt ampere and this is the value of the answer all right guys so that's it on that question on series connection of an inductor a resistor and a capacitor i will see you in the next video with another question thanks and cheers